not the same since last you saw me Roommates think I've lost my mind I kind of freaked out when you called me And if I sound insane, I'm sorry But I haven't slept three nights Cause kissing you is like sipping coffee I said I won't ever text you with emojis I won't be the one to kiss you in the front seat Back in October Yeah, that's what I told ya Now look at me Doing things I never do My god, sourdough toast smashed like avocado with smoked salmon and dill I got this at the pito yeah. and a white I don't know why I have my mask on, but it's bright and early in the morning and we just ate at Union Brew Lab and it was really nice. It's also not that bright and early, it's like 11 a.m. Yeah, now we're going to walk up to Edinburgh Castle and go on a tour. Now I, I swear I hardly recognize me from the day I called you mine. And you broke down the walls inside me. Just your casual bagpipes in Edinburgh. Still need to recover from another love. Or would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother. But let's see oh where my this gosh, leads. This is so gorgeous. Chapel that was built in like 1130. It doesn't even seem that long ago existed. Here is Queen Margaret. There's a little cemetery for dogs. It's so cute. Here's the queen herself. We're in the beach. Oh, I don't know how to say that. It's very nice. on the ceiling. This is actually a little bit nice. I would definitely sleep in one of these hammocks in this beautiful room. I'd redecorate it a little, but I would stay here. Here is a portrait of the last bazaar of Russia. I have no idea why he's in here, but it is nice. I would wear that jacket. I love the history behind it. Honestly, I love any history that involves like royals. Mm -hmm. That's my stuff. We are now walking to the National Museum so that we can go inside. So we're in the museum. 
museum now and we have yet again come across one of these jackets. I'm not kidding. I would totally wear this jacket. So when it comes to decorating my future house, I want the furniture to look like this, but a cheaper version of this. We have a life-size elephant and some camels. Look at this teeny tiny diamond. I found the fashion section, which I obviously love. I would wear this in a heartbeat. Also wear this. You know you're old when they have like your middle school phone on display. And of course there's bagpipe. I got garlic schnitzel. I've never had schnitzel before, but I think it's good. It is Valentine's Day, so every place is booked. And we got here like five minutes before they stopped letting people in. You were only allowed to get in if you had a reservation, and we did not. And if you can't decide, I can change your mind. I feel so I'm editing this vlog and I realized that I didn't explain the next part very well. I'm gonna explain it right now. After dinner, me and my friends went on a free ghost tour in Edinburgh. We walked throughout the streets at night and our tour guide pointed out places with significant spooky paths. All of us loved our tour guide. He centered the tour around talking about historical events where humans did scary things to each other instead of making up ghost stories. He did such an amazing amazing job that I'm going to include a little clip here. Who shall not be named? I'll ask you not to stand on the grass uh, because the uh, scientists actually uh, did soil samples of the earth that is 2% human remains. Ooh. So sleep tight. Awesome. Um, now there is an estimated uh, estimation that there are between 200 and 400,000 bodies in this graveyard, which is a lasagna of humanity beneath your feet, uh, layers upon layers of bodies. During the Enlightenment, there's all these brilliant thinkers, but also brilliant, brilliant scientists and medical thinkers, medical thinkers in particular. The University of Edinburgh um, had one of the first anatomy schools in the world where medical students had this brand new idea of looking inside of bodies and seeing what's there. Because uh, before this, they're just reading 2,000-year-old Greek textbooks. So uh, this is the birthplace of modern medicine, really, uh, one of them. And so uh, to dissect these bodies, they first of all need bodies. And people, good Christians, are not willing to give their bodies away to a scientist. What's a scientist? Uh, and so they had to find people for whom they don't care if they're going to heaven. The criminals, who cares about them, right? People who are hanged in the grass market. Uh, number two would be sailors who die at sea and don't get a Christian burial. Uh, and the third source of bodies are orphans, because who cares about orphans, right? Also, yeah. Eventually they run out of orphans, run out of criminals, they run out of sailors, and uh, they're and they're running and they got no bodies left. And the question is, where on earth sorry, <clears throat> where in earth will they find more bodies, right? <laughs> and so now we have people coming in here and they're called the body snatchers. They're also known as the resurrectionists, which is definitely a heavy metal band name. <laughs> uh, they're different than grave robbers. The grave robbers take your stuff, the body snatchers snatch your body. Uh, which technically wasn't a crime. It's kind of like a nothing in the rule book says dogs can't play basketball. And so these body snatchers became a real problem in this city and other cities as well. 